Howdy y'all, I am Ice Gold, and today I'm introducing a new series to the channel. This is just me playing Minecraft, Hunger Games, Survival Games, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, while I talk over with, you know, something that I just wanted to talk about. Uh, sometimes it'll be about Wiz, like this video, sometimes it won't be. I've got some <laughs> kind of heavy topics, and, uh, Fair warning, the series will get political down the line, but I figured, you know, might as well tap into some of y'all's uh, other forms of nostalgia <laughs> and just make some Minecraft SG gameplay just to post it while I talk. And the topic for today is going to be the extra credits program that King's Isle has added. And there's a lot of content creators that have joined. Uh, I myself have been told like I should join and I have finally applied. So <laughs> we'll see what they say. But in my opinion, the extra credits program is honestly a really great idea. It gives content creators new opportunities in Wiz and Pirate. And I think that's a great way to get content creators more involved with the community. There are a lot of benefits to being in the program, but I also had my own reasons for having been hesitant to apply before, so I'll just go over everything in this video that I feel like I need to talk about. Probably my favorite thing about the program is that, to my knowledge, the KI community managers will occasionally give out crown codes to creators who are wanting to do giveaways for their communities. And if I join, <laughs> I will see what I can do to start giving back to my viewers because y'all have really made my experience in this community great and I am beyond glad that y'all are subscribed and watching the content I make. It really means a lot, so <laughs> thank you to all of you who are subscribed. This was honestly the tipping point for me. I was on the fence for a while about applying, but I thought about it and decided I wanted to apply to get in so I could give back to you guys. And I haven't heard back yet, <laughs> but I did apply on a Friday night, so it's only been like you know, one business day since I applied. So it's totally understandable if it takes just a little bit longer for them to review my channel and decide if they want to add me to the program or not. <laughs> I mean, maybe they'll even see this. And if so, howdy. I'm just a content creator looking to bring my content to the table. And if I am accepted, I will make my community's experience much, much better. And I also want to see what else y'all have to offer in the program. I also like how they encourage collaboration with other content creators. That is something I have wanted to do more of. I've only really done one collaboration on this channel in the past. That was my video with Val from back in December where we talked about the official Wizard 101 Discord and I'd say it's worth a watch, <laughs> but it is the only collab that I've done and I'm looking to do more, so <laughs> we'll see. And. I think, you know, doing some networking and seeing who's interested in making content would be really great and extra credits would be a great way for me to really get into that and meet some people with similar interests. Maybe, like I have wanted to do a, um, a 1v1 series, like in PvP against other Wiz creators. Um, so, you know, joining this would be <laughs> kind of cool. I think I would like to do that and having easier access to that, maybe more people to go against. I think that would be great for me and my channel and I'd really like to do it. I know Liam did a video with Pluto and he is definitely someone to watch. <laughs> my guy is next up, big shout outs to him. And where Liam taught him the basics of storm PVP and that was a really fun concept and I would honestly love to get in on some of that. That sounds real fun. They've also got monthly assignments for members of the program and I would be so down to participate. And you know, they've done things like the aforementioned, uh, you know, teach another content creator game mechanic, making guides for worlds and dungeons and bosses and that type of thing. Uh, you know, new in-game events like Rate My Stitch and plenty more. And I mean, I'm down to get in on that. <laughs> and I feel like I've already, I already make videos in this style on this channel. So getting to contribute to the community in a bigger way with that would be really great. And I would really love to do it. I would just go on doing what I do and it'd be great to just get more involved with the community in doing so. That all being said, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I was hesitant to apply. These are just the impressions that I get, and who knows, <laughs> maybe I'm super wrong about this, I would hope so, but the main reason why I didn't apply for a while, despite many people's encouragement, is because I wasn't sure if I'd really be free to voice my opinions about different things in the game like I usually do. I wasn't sure if the program was really for me as someone who does that. And I mean, y'all know me. 
I'm pretty outspoken, and with things like the recent roundtable, I wasn't really sure if talking about problems I have with the game, like I usually do, would hurt my chances of making it into the program, or if I'd have to stop talking about stuff like that once I'm in the program, that kind of thing, so... I call things as I see them. If I have a problem with something in the game, I am going to talk about it. <laughs> and, you know, Thursday's video, I'm probably going to talk about the PvP barrier to entry, so stay tuned for that. I do tend to keep myself pretty family friendly as well here on the channel, so I do meet that requirement even when I am discussing things like, you know, Frost Giant being awful or Stack Apps being unbalanced, to name a couple examples. So it's not like they'll take issue with me because of that. I guess I just want to keep doing what I do. People like my channel as it is, and if I could join the program without changing my content, that would be the best outcome for everyone so I can keep promoting the game. I will say though that the recent round table has quelled some of my fears when it comes to all that. Many of the people present were extra credits members, and I haven't heard about any retribution from KI over it, so that's given me a more positive outlook on joining the program. I want to nurture a good community with people who care about the game like I do, and my view of the whole thing is, if I'm not being toxic, you know, I should be allowed to criticize the company or decisions they make without getting booted, <laughs> or something like that. And knowing that there's like-minded individuals already in the program makes me think that there is a place for me in extra credits, and I mean, y'all have heard, you know, I've already gushed about how great the program is in my opinion, so if they'll have me, I am absolutely willing to join. As a hybrid, you know, PvP, PvE creator, where I also, you know, stream occasionally, I think that I would be a great fit for extra credits. I'd really like to join, and I guess we will just have to really see. Um, it's all up to the community managers, I think, uh, to determine if I will be <laughs> granted entry. I hope I am, because, you know, it's like I was saying, I think the program is really, really great, and I would love to, you know, talk with my community some more, give them crown codes <laughs> on occasion, you know, and uh, I think that would be really great, but it is all up to them, and... You know, they might take a little while longer to look through the applications because I know that there have been quite a few recently, uh, but if I join, <laughs> I will be real happy. I'll probably announce that to y'all here if I have, and I'll start participating in those, you know, monthly assignments and all that they do with that. So if I get accepted, <laughs> stay tuned for that, and I hope y'all will get excited to see it. I think I have good chances. <laughs> I, I would hope so. I mean, I know I've probably gotten on <laughs> one or two devs bad sides at some point, but I do try to talk civilly to them and I keep things, you know, pretty non-toxic around here. So I like my chances at the moment. So thank y'all for watching. <laughs> I've been Ice Gold. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave like 50 comments for the algorithm. My Discord is down in the description if you want to chat with me some more. We are well over 100 members, and I will see y'all later.